here we want to determine which of these numbers are even or odd using an Excel equation. Now the Excel equation we're going to use is what we call a conditional. So it's an equation, so we start with the equal sign. And then the actual equation or formula name is if. So when we start with if, we st open up our parentheses. And we can see here, the way it works is we have a logical test. So we want to check if something is true or false. If it is true, we can output a value. If it is false, we output a different value. So what we want to check is if this number in this cell is even. So there's another command we can use, which is called is even. So do another, we type is even, do another parenthesis, and we just want to reference this cell number, A2. That's where we're checking if it's even. And this will return either true if it is even or false if it is not even. So if it is true, what we want to display, and we use quotes here, is we want to display even. And then if it is false, we will want to display odd. And make sure to include the quotes, and then we close the parentheses, hit enter. So if we click back on this, and double click, this is the equation that we typed here. So uh, we can see that it's referencing cell A2. We're checking is even, if it, e if it is even, output even. If it is not even, output odd. Hit enter again, and we can fill this down uh, using our drag fill. Now at this one, because it's a list and we already have uh, one column listed out here, one quick way of filling or drag filling this equation is if we go to the little green corner here, and make sure we have the thin black cross, we can just double click and then it will fill all this in. So if we click on, double click on any of these random cells, it's the same exact equation. The only thing that's changing is the reference cell here. In this case, it's A11, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, and so now from here, we just have to type in which cells say even and which cells say odd. And we can take a little bit deeper of a dive into how this sort of nested equation works. So if we click over here, just in some blank space, the is even equation works this way. So let's say is even and we'll do a two. Close the parentheses, hit enter. So it's checking if the cell, in the number in cell A2 is even. If it is, it outputs true. So if we drag this down a little bit, it'll check all these different ones. So this is checking A3 now, this one's checking uh, A4, and so on. So we can see the outputs of the is even function is either true or false. And then the if function, so if we do if, And then we can just do if and then use that cell as a reference. The if function wants this logical test to be either true or false. So if in E3 it says true, then you know we say even in quotes. If it does not say true, then we say odd in quotes. Hit enter. And then we can drag this down or double click in the green corner. And we can see this is just tech checking if this says true output even. And in this case, this cell E5 says false. So it outputs value of false, which is odd.